same reference images, same prompts, how will frame pack's original version stack up against the new F1 implementation? Let's find out in this video. In this comparison, we have two versions of frame pack. The original model uses bidirectional prediction, generating both future and past frames for more stable results. It's great for consistent video generation. On the other hand, frame pack F1 is single directional, focusing only on predicting future frames, creating more dynamic and varied outputs. With F1, you get larger variances, perfect for applications like pump traveling, while its new anti-drifting regulation prevents errors from building up over time. Now let's get to the fun part, demo. We have uh, an example of a stranded astronaut. This is the prompt here, basically trying to make him walk while the strange life form emerges here and plans are moving. As you can see, not much is happening here. This is the original version versus this one, F1, where the astronaut easily walks and planets are moving and this life form is forming here somewhere. Similarly, uh, in this example, I'm trying to make a bird fly and follow it. As you can see, the original version, you know, it doesn't do much during the beginning frames and then it slowly starts acting. The, the end frames are nicer compared to this one, which is F1 where the bird immediately starts flying and it just goes away while the camera is following it. Uh, the only problem is we're not actually going, the camera is not going with the bird. Similarly here, I am trying to generate a video of a rider going through a neon lit city. Uh, in this case, the original version actually produced a decent video started slow and then you know the bike starts moving and the drone is following this is the f1 version where the camera immediately pants slightly out and starts following the rider now it starts getting really ridiculous this is what we're talking about the variance and divergence that can occur in f1 here i'm trying to make a person walk in heavy snow uh, the original version does a not too bad of a job. I think it's pretty good, actually. Uh, the camera is following person from the side angle. I wish there was more snow, but this is F1. The person immediately moves away from camera. Uh, the walking is slightly off, but overall it's uh, not bad. Again, I wish there was more snow since I explicitly said heavy snow, but yeah. Here's an example of a dolphin I'm trying to capture from the side angle. The prompt was dolphin swimming through coral reef and fish and so on. This is the original version. Dolphin basically doesn't move compared to F1 version where it immediately starts moving and you will see that we, you can actually see the coral reef and fish although it looks not that realistic but you can still see it following the prompt here we are looking at a train in hindsight i should have given it a better image but basically i was trying to make a video of a train going through hills and tunnels this is the original version during the beginning frames, it doesn't even move. It slowly starts moving towards the end of the video, but you know, that's it. Compared to this one where it immediately starts moving, although it doesn't show it going through tunnels and so on, but I think it was because the image, reference image was not that good. 